Hey, how's it going everyone? MLT Magic Tricks here. So today I'm going to be giving you a performance and tutorial for this spectacular no setup card trick that should definitely be in your routine. So I would start this one off by having my spectator give the deck a shuffle. Once they are done, I would have them make a selection. They can just call stop anywhere as I dribble off cards. Let's say they call stop right here. I would just have my spectator look at and remember the card they chose. We're gonna go ahead and lose this card somewhere into the middle of the deck. I will give the pack a few cuts. I will also give the deck a riffle shuffle. And just for good measure, I will give the cards a few more cuts to truly lose uh, my spectator's card into the middle of the pack. Now, to confirm the card is lost, I would show my spectator the bottom card. I would ask them if this is their selection. I believe they would say no. I'm also gonna show them the card on the very top of the deck, in this case, the four hearts. I believe they would say this is also not their card. So my spectator selection is truly lost in the middle of the deck. At this point, what I'm gonna do is take off cards one at a time from the deck and just reverse them on top here. And I would have my spectator call stop at any point as I do this. Um, they truly can call stop anywhere as I go through the deck. And we're gonna see if them calling stop can help me you know, find their card. So let's say my spectator calls stop right here. I would tell them we're gonna square up the deck and we're gonna spread to the first face down card that we come to in the pack. This is where uh, you know they called stop. You will see there is this face down card right here. And I'm gonna prove to you my spectator didn't just call stop at a random place. They called stop right where their selection is, the queen of clubs. So guys, that is the trick. I hope you liked it. If you want to learn how to perform it, make sure you watch the tutorial. Before I get into the tutorial, I want to give a shout out to the Thursday Boot Company for sponsoring this video. They sent me one of their products, which I'm going to show you guys right now. So this is their Captain model boot in this black matte color option. Uh, these boots are very stylish and high quality. Thursday Boots has many different style options for men and women uh, for both boots and sneakers along with some clothing items. So I definitely recommend you check them out. Thursdayboots.com will be the first link in the description. So I highly recommend you check out their website. They got a lot of great products at affordable prices. So thank you again to Thursday Boots and now for the tutorial. All right, so this is a really cool card trick that you should definitely learn. So grab your deck of cards and let's get right into the tutorial. You're gonna begin with your spectator giving the deck a shuffle. Once they are done, you're gonna have them choose a card. Now, once they choose the card, you're first gonna control it to the top of the deck. I'll show you what I did in the performance. I had would have my spectator call stop as I dribble off cards. They're gonna take a look at the card where they called stop. Uh, just have them look at it in the performance, but for the tutorial, we'll look at it together. In this case, we have the King of Hearts. They're going to place the card back in, face down, and then you're going to dribble off the rest of the cards, starting from the bottom, going up to the top. So you're going to start from the bottom like this, dribble up to the top, and then come over with the other hand, lift up on these cards, getting this natural thumb break. And then to control it to the top, you can do a double undercut or transfer it over to a pinky break in your other hand. Cut all the cards from above the break on the table and you've just controlled their selection to the top. Now, that might be a little bit complicated for some of you guys. If you wanna learn a simpler card control or two, check out this video. Uh, I'll link it on the screen right now to where I teach some card controls. Now, with their card on top, what you need to do is get their card into the second position from the top of the deck. Here's how you're gonna do that. You're gonna pull down on the bottommost card with your pinky, transfer this over to a thumb break in your other hand, swing cut around half the deck, drop off this card like that on top, maintain the break, and now you can just do a double undercut to get their card into the second position from the top. You got a random card right on top of it like that. That's what you need to do one more time. It's not too hard. You pull down, transfer it over to a thumb break, drop it off like this. After you do your swing cut, you maintain the break and then cut it right back to the top so you've got their selection, in this case, the King of Hearts, in the second position from the top. At this point, you're gonna show them the bottom card. You're gonna ask them, uh, is this your card? They're obviously gonna say no. Turn the deck over. Uh, now you're gonna turn over the very top card, which remember is this random card. You're gonna ask them, is the Three of Hearts your selection? Uh, they're also gonna say no. Now, here is a very important move in the trick. You're going to be lifting up this random card 
in the card right below it as one, which remember is their selection. You can see the cards are back to back. So it's gonna take a little bit of practice to come over with your thumb in your other hand and just practice lifting up on both cards and out jogging them like this. Your spectator needs to think you only out jogged this three of hearts, but in reality, their selection is directly behind it. Make sure you keep these cards very square. That is extremely important. From here, you make the point to your spectator that their card is not on top or the bottom. It's truly lost somewhere in the middle. Now, what you're gonna do is take off cards one at a time from below these two, and you're gonna place them right on top like this. You're gonna be going through and, and be careful um, as you do this at the start that you don't accidentally flash you know, their selection, which is reversed here. So you're gonna keep going and you can make the point to your spectator. They can call stop at any point as you do this, which is true. You're just gonna be going through one at a time, taking off cards here from the bottom of this out jogged pack and bringing them right on top, face up. Now your spectator can in fact call stop at any point. So let's say they tell you to stop right here. You'll see when you square up the pack, um, their, this card, which is their selection, remember it's reversed it's going to automatically be the first face down card when you spread out the deck like this. Your spectator is not gonna know that. They're truly gonna think this is you know, the random card that they ended on when they told you to stop dealing. You make the point that their card was lost somewhere in the deck. They could have called stop anywhere and they happen to call stop on this first face down card. They can even turn it over and it will be their selection. They'll be completely blown away. This one does have a very powerful effect that uh, is going to impress all your spectators. That's gonna do it for the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out Thursday Boots. They will be the first link in the description. I will see you all in my next video. Peace out.